and thanks for joining me as Sport Pilot team to load another exciting episode of Sport Vibe on DNT World Cup. bring you exciting and latest sport happenings across the world of sport as is our tradition to do this every Tuesday and this week won't be an exception so I would implore you to please stay tuned because we'll be right back shortly after this break. Welcome back to beautiful Tuesday starting today's episode of Sports Vibe on TNT Well, from the world of tennis talking about a young talent Coco Gauff who was able to win the WTA Finals Championship after being able to defeat Yannick Kuhn in the Saudi Arabia competition that took place during the weekend. It was an interesting one to see the young talent, a 20 years old woman from the United States of America being able to win the WTA Finals when you talk about the singles in the world of tennis and she becomes the first woman to be able to do that from the United States of America following Serena Williams that did that in the year 2014. The young talent concluding the 2024 season winning a trophy. Remember she started the 2024 season by winning a trophy, the United this state open in the world of tennis is an interesting one for the United States of America and the world of tennis and something to look forward to in the future for them in Coco Golf as she could be stepping into the shoes of Serena Williams in the future and in particularly in the game of tennis and also talking about the game of tennis we talk about the newly released ATP ranking where we saw Nova Djokovic dropping points we saw Carlos Akares dropping points but we can talk about the number one in the world of tennis we talk about Yannick Sinan maintaining his spot at the ATP ranking and in the second position we could see Alexandra occupying the second position while Carlos Akeres dropped point in the ATP ranking and Daniel Madvedev moving to the fourth position at the ATP ranking and in the fifth position is Nova Djokovic dropping points to the fifth position at the ATP ranking. The 2024 season has been full of so many surprises in the world of tennis and as such this means the ATP ranking in the world of tennis surprising to the tennis lovers in the world right now. But quickly let's switch our attention to the world of football where we'll talk about so many exciting new and so many exciting occasions that took place in the world of football and starting from Premier League we talk about the league leaders Liverpool who are currently occupying the Premier League with five points clear at the top of the table Liverpool under and Slot has been doing incredibly well everyone would have thought they might be regressing after Jordan Club decided to leave Liverpool but under and Slot, Liverpool are sitting at the top of the Premier League right now and they are not just sitting at the top of the Premier League they are also occupying the top of the UEFA Champions League after being able to win four matches out of the available four. Liverpool are doing incredibly well ahead of Manchester City in the Premier League and ahead of Manchester City and every other team in the UEFA Champions League as an interesting one. Also talking about the Liverpool side who will fail to talk about the talisman Mohamed Salah who has continued to score goals and continue to move up in the rank of the highest goal scorers in the Premier League and also talking about the Premier League, we talk about the, you know, Espirito Santo side, we talk about the Nottingham Forest side who have suffered their second defeat of the season in the Premier League after suffering a defeat to Newcastle during the weekend. You know that the you know, Espirito Santo side, Nottingham Forest has been in a good form before their match against Newcastle. They were sitting at the top four in the Premier League but were able to suffer a defeat to Newcastle during the weekend in a match that ended three goals to one and before that you know that Nino Espirito Santos was given the award of the 
manager of the month of October and we saw Chris Wood winning the player of the month of October after Chris Wood was able to manage 8 goals in his 13 matches played in the Premier League is an interesting one for the Premier League side talking about Nottingham Forest who are currently sitting below the top 4 but are in the 5th position in the Premier League this season Nottingham Forest in the 5th position this season talks about so many surprises in the world of football and in the Premier League and talking about surprises we talk about another one that happened during the weekend where we saw Ipswich United getting their first win in the Premier League defeating Tottenham or Sport in fact that was their first win in since the year 2002 in the Premier League Ipswich were able to defeat Tottenham or Sport during the weekend to get a maximum point for the first time this season and for the first time since the year 2002 in the Premier League. Remember that Ipswich got their promotion to the Premier League. We were followed by Leicester City and Southampton to the Premier League this season. And they were yet to get a point still they faced Tottenham Hotspot in the Premier League this season. is an interesting one for them and we can give them a round of applause being able to get a point from Tottenham Hotspot, one of the favourites in the Premier League right now. But quickly let's go on a very short break and when we're right back we'll bring you more interesting sport updates from the world of sport. J.K. Royal Signatures, a blend of African fabric. Welcome back as we're talking football, talking about sports generally in the world of football we talk about another interesting one in the world of football talking about the spanish la liga where we saw barcelona suffering their second defeat in the spanish la liga as they were defeated by real sociedad real sociedad doing real madrid in favor of getting the maximum points against barcelona who has been in a red hot form in the la liga and in the world of football at large real sociedad were able to win barcelona one goes to zero to see barcelona drop another point in the Spanish La Liga. You remember that this is a third defeat for Barcelona this season as they were able to offer their first defeat against Monaco in the Champions League and Osasuna getting the better of Barcelona winning them four goals to zero and their third defeat Real Sociedad has done Real Madrid a favor of getting the maximum points against them. They are sitting at the top of the table right now with just 33 points after their 13 matches played in the La Liga and now we see that Real Madrid can close the gap to three points in the La Liga as Real Madrid has a game in hand and they were able to win their game in the weekend. Four goals to zero well with sub Vinicius Junior scoring an attic in that particular one and with Real Madrid having 27 points and sitting second in the Spanish La Liga, let's see if they will be able to close points with Barcelona if they are able to win their outstanding and talking about another match that took place in the Serie A, we talk about a match between Napoli and in Milan, you remember that Napoli suffered a surprising defeat to Atlanta, where Atlanta were able to defeat Napoli three goals to zero in the previous week before their match against in Milan. And in their game against in Milan, they could only share points between them and in Milan. Though Napoli currently sits at the top of the Serie A table with just one point ahead of the likes of Atlanta, Florentina, and in Milan, who has 25 points each. And talking about football, let's quickly switch our attention back to the Premier League where we witnessed a London debut between 
Arsenal and Chelsea Football Club in a match that ended one goal apiece. This was an interesting one to see these two taking the game to each other but continues to lose chances after chance in the Premier League this season. You remember that Arsenal Football Club suffered a defeat to Inter Milan in the Champions League. But in their match against Chelsea, they went up, course the goal from Gabriel Martinelli who was able to find the back of the net in the second half and Chelsea Football Club were able to bounce back again after the goal from Pedro Neto who was able to score his first Chelsea goal in the Premier League for him. It's an interesting one to get Chelsea back to the game but the match could only end 1-1 apiece in the Premier League. This is the second draw for Chelsea Football Club in the Premier League this season. Remember they played a draw against Manchester United and another draw against Arsenal their London rival in the Premier League and as it stands right now Liverpool are occupying the first position followed by Manchester City and followed by Chelsea Football Club and Arsenal sitting in the fourth position and talking about Manchester City quite a surprising one and something that we are not familiar with concerning Manchester City is that Manchester City suffered their fourth consecutive defeat in all competition under Pep Guardiola after we saw Brighton and hopes have on coming from behind to defeat Manchester City in the Premier League this season during the weekend is quite an interesting one for Manchester City after suffering a defeat to Tottenham Hotspur they were able to suffer another defeat to Sporting another defeat to Bournemouth and a fourth consecutive defeat to Brighton and Hopes Albion for the manager we talk about Pep Guardiola this is the first time that Manchester City will be suffering their fourth consecutive defeat under Pep Guardiola and in fact this is the first time that Pep Guardiola as a manager will be having a fourth consecutive defeat in his managerial career. What is wrong with them? It can be far from Rodri. You know that Rodri is one of their key players at the heart of the midfield. You remember that Rodri also won the Ballon d'Or. Could Rodri be back to the Premier League and to the Manchester City side? We might be seeing something different from the Manchester City side but currently Manchester City are in the path that they are not used to in the world of football and what can Pep Guardiola do to salvage it after the international break but talking about on the other side of Manchester you talk about Manchester United who has been experiencing so many success after the sacking of their manager Eric Ten Hag and under their interim manager Robin Van Nistelrooy Manchester United has been able to record some success starting from their match against Leicester City in the Carabao Cup where they were able to win five goals to two. They've taken their form again to the Premier League where they were able to get a draw against Chelsea and talking about another match in the Europa League where Eric Ten Hag has failed to get a win in the Europa League. In his last three matches, Manchester United has only been able to get three draws in their three matches played last time in the Europa League. But Van Nistelrooy was able to get the first win for Manchester United in the Europa League and this means that they have six points after playing four matches in the Europa League and back to the Premier League talking about an interesting one was that Ruben Van Nistelrooy starting his match against Leicester City was able to bow out as the interim manager of Manchester United with another win against Leicester City a match that ended three goals in favor of Manchester United Ruben Van Nistelrooy making Manchester United proud the former Manchester United striker and Manchester United legend has shown to Manchester United that the playing style is the problem for Manchester United and the players could do so much to win in the Premier League and it's an interesting one talking about the Manchester United side as we know that Robin Amerim will be taking charge of Manchester United after the international break. Ruben Van Nistelrooy has done so much to make Manchester United get back on track ahead of the arrival of Ruben Amerim but this is the question who are the players that will be playing under Roman Amarim will he be bringing his playing style to Manchester United and talking about Manchester United we talk about the talisman we talk about Bruno Fernandes who was able to make his 250th appearance in the Premier League and for Manchester United in all competition he was able to see that with a goal and an assist during the weekend in the world of football this is a great run for Manchester United and the opposite for Manchester City in the world of football ahead of the international break for you football fans sit close to your television as you'll be witnessing so many international matches played during the international break where you support your country in the world of football and this is the length
content at Switch will be going on this week's episode of Sport Vibe on DNT Work. For more news and sports stories, follow us across our various social media handles at Sport Vibe on DNT Work. Enjoy your week. Remember, stay safe. Thank you.